especially for the children? Jason, I think uh, New Orleans does some things that really loads up the paint. And when we keep it simple and move the ball and not play in the crowd and make that extra pass, it looks good. And try to beat the doubles or uh, let some unselfish habits creep back in. Looks up good. So uh, five turnovers that quarter, but we moved the ball and got assists and I think 10 assists on 11 baskets in the first quarter. So when we didn't turn over and play in the crowd, it looked good. How comfortable does Reed look running the offense to you? Makes fun of use, whether it's on or off ball. I think, like I said, we can use it both ways, but um, picks it up very quickly and makes the right read. Jalen had a lot of strong, <laughs> strong drives. <laughs> Jalen had a lot of strong drives late in the shot clock to finish possessions. Um, just what are you seeing from him in that regard? And do you want him to be wrestling going to the rim in those situations? Yeah, he's one of our best shot creators, obviously. And uh, with him, a lot of those times it's a favorable matchup. Or at the end of the shot clock, they switched to a few, and we got some guys. Instead of bringing out, bring up an extra defender, you know, we just flatten it out and let them go to work. And so, um, regardless of what it is, he's always going to be confident scoring. But um, we said it all, all last year as well. He's one of our best shot creators, and when he's in attack mode, we're making the right play, whether it's uh, drop offs or attack the basket, he looks good. There was a moment in the second quarter where Jabari looked like he got locked at the rim. He was a little frustrated afterwards, late getting back in transition, led to an open three. In the timeout after that, uh, kind of what was your message to him after that, after that moment? Yeah, played through things on to the next possession. Um, you know, he got fouled on a dunk early that they didn't call, and he got fouled on a dunk that he made, and so he was a little frustrated from those. And then that one, obviously, uh, the one guy you don't want to get back on slow is McCollum. Over there, you know, him and Hawkins are all the shooters, but yeah, you got to go on to the next play, and they cry about fouls and practice all the time if that guy's not calling them. And, it's not just practice in our interns, it's the referees as well, so we'll move on to the next thing. Can you talk a little bit about the benefit of having a player like Stephen Abb and giving you double digit rebounds in such a short amount of time? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, 11 and 15 minutes and uh, three offensive and probably uh, got other guys a lot of rebounds as well with all the bodies that they try to keep him off the glass, but that's what he's been throughout his career. And, uh, you, know, you know, once he gets his legs back under him and, Play longer stints in those five minutes, those numbers will continue to go up. But um, super valuable with the extra positions he gets you, the screening, and all the little things that they don't show on the stat sheet. So very pleased with him and just got to wrap him up in the, the right way. Gets laid by number. Coach, what type of uh, energy and aggressiveness does that second unit bring when you bring in Sean Cam, when you bring it out in? How do they just change the trajectory of the game? Yeah, I think the pace picks up automatically from those guys, and then, you know, you bring toughness in with Steven and, you know, a player like Reed, so it's a very complimentary group in a lot of ways that, um, you know, you got to have multiple handlers that can run the offense and guys that play off the ball and do all the things the guys you just mentioned bring. And so, you know, Gotari in there and some other guys, it's a very uh, athletic, physical group, and I think at times last year you saw, I think it was Aaron, Gotari, uh, Jeff, Chase, John, and I've been, you know, for a five game stretch before some guys got hurt, before Ty got hurt. They were really dominant, you know, with that five man group. And so, you know, a lot of that carry over from those guys replacing Jeff or somebody with Steve and, and that group and don't have much drama. Well, I think there was a moment in the second quarter where you had Fred and Rita on the court. What exactly was it for with that parent? So, I wanted to see him for a few minutes. Uh, we decided to take Jalen out early and, and to get him back in, but we wanted to have Reed and Fred out there. and. You know, we're not really worried about the size there. You know, they got some smaller guards with um, you know, the guys they have in New Orleans. And, uh, you know, we had uh, men and, and some bigger guys around there as well, so we felt fine as far as that. But just want to see them both play off and on the ball. Uh, they're very similar in a lot of ways and, uh, you know, complement each other. So uh, just want to get a quick look at them. Looked like I thought it would. They're, they're really almost to be. You feel good about right. you feel good about where the team is at this point, or what preseason game before you know heading into the week of the Open? Is this about where you would like to see them? I mean, in December we have our ups and downs. I think you always are uh, striving for more perfection, I guess. But um, you know, the little things like we can look really good at times and then go away from what works for us. And so the consistency, like I talked about going into the season, is the biggest thing. And so um, you know, I wouldn't say I'm happy, but. Um, Please, what they're, they're trying to do, what we ask them, we'll ask them to do, but I'm um, always looking for more and one more test with another week of practice, and so we'll try to get there by the uh, start of the season. You said pre game that uh, you want to do a lot of uh, mixing, matching up the lineup, just so you could see some different things. Did. Was that accomplished tonight? Did you see what you were looking for? 
if, for instance, the Reed and Fred thing, we want to see, we want to see our men out there with the starters, and then we kind of platooned in the second half. The guys played eight minutes, five minutes, and so we subbed the whole, subbed the whole unit in to see how the second unit looked together. And it's pretty good, so uh, got some of that done, and we we'll did. Uh, had guys longer stretches. Nobody really played the fourth quarter, uh, none of the starters, but get a longer stretch the next game and take a look at some other combinations as well. Is the free throw shooting concerning at all to you, or what do you, what do you chalk that up to? Yeah, bad night for sure. If, if not for Aaron, you know, toward the end, uh, we got back to 52%, but um, yeah, just missing too many. And a lot of good shooters, obviously, Fred and um, guys that don't normally miss too. And, and it got it snowballed that way, so um, obviously, want to be better, and we got uh, I made it more before the game. I'm sure we're going to be hungry.